VRealize Operations Manager is VMware's comprehensive monitoring and analytics tool that allows administrators to gain insight into their application, virtual, and physical infrastructure. With so much information available in VROps, it can be a little bit overwhelming to figure out where to start. This leads to the misconception that it's just too difficult to do on your own. Monitoring in general is a difficult task to tackle and usually takes a bit of trial and error to become truly proactive. VRealize Operations addresses this by giving you some great dashboards right out of the box to get started. And creating custom dashboards is easy. I'll show you how. VRealize Operations Manager 6.4 is VMware's latest release, which includes 13 new dashboards to assist in troubleshooting and capacity management. This dashboard shows you how your ESXi hosts are configured, including BIOS and ESXi version information for all hosts in your environment. There's also a similar dashboard for VM configuration. And get this, it'll show you which VMs have snapshots and how much space they're using. These dashboards are great for best practices. Now, if you want to build a custom dashboard, you'll need the Advanced or Enterprise Edition of eRealize Operations. And as I said earlier, creating your own dashboards is easy. Knowing what you want to display is the difficult part, especially where the out-of-box dashboards are so comprehensive. Let's build a dashboard that will allow us to select a host and show the capacity remaining based on the most constrained resource. We'll also include some general workload information. To begin, click on the Content menu, select Dashboards, and click the green plus sign. We'll call this dashboard VM Spot Lab Capacity. Now we need to populate our dashboard with a few widgets. We'll start with the object list, capacity remaining, workload, and metric chart. As you can see, adding widgets is simple. Just drag and drop. You can also resize. Edit the object list by clicking on the pencil. Give the object list a descriptive name, like ESXi Hosts. Set the mode to Parent, as this will feed the other widgets. Filter the list for Object Types and Host System. We'll clean up the view by removing all of the columns except for the host names. We can also make the list smaller, so there's more room for the capacity remaining widget. Next, we need to configure the ESXi hosts list to feed the other widgets. Expand the widget interactions menu and select ESXi hosts from each of the three drop-down menus. Click apply interactions. Now when we select a host from the list, the other widgets will show information for that host. Add a trend line to the metric chart and save the dashboard. And that's it! Your custom dashboard is available in the dashboard list. Just pick a host from the ESXi hosts object list to view the details. You'll see that the capacity remaining widget shows the capacity of the most constrained resource. I loaded up my hosts for this demo. As you can see, ESXi 1 has zero capacity because the disk is over provisioned, and ESXi 2 doesn't have any remaining memory. This is a great way to see what's available at a glance. Now that you understand the basics of creating a dashboard, log into vRealize Operations and start creating your own. If you don't already have your own copy of vRealize Operations, you can download a free trial or play around in one of VMware's hosted hands-on labs. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt Bradford of VMSpot.